Let's take a look at how to create some 808 glide effects using the sampler track in Cubase. So many times we may have lots of samples that will sound something like this. It's very common in a lot of music to have different glide effects. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to turn this into this audio file into a playable sample. So I'm going to come over here and first let's double click and launch a sample editor. And I want to determine what the root pitch of the sample is. So I'm going to go to very audio, click here on edit very audio. And we can see that the pitch is going to be E zero. I will go to the bottom zone and let's go to our sampler control. And I'm going to drag the sample from the project window directly onto the sampler control zone and let's go to the root key setting here and type E zero. The pitch as we play from the keyboard will match the pitch of other instruments. Many people will start doing glides using the pitch bend wheel. So we can set our pitch bend wheel here so that as we move the pitch bend wheel on our controller that we could control so it'll default to two semitones or if we wanted to go to like an octave we could do stuff like that but within the pitch tab there's some great settings for additional functions for glide so what we could do is just kind of set our glide time here and we could actually just even type in a particular value so i'm going to say 700 milliseconds and as I play two different notes, the pitch will glide between the two notes. And you can see the what notes I'm hitting here in my keyboard. So that's gonna take 700 milliseconds to go from to the correct pitch. Now, if we wanted this to be a little more musical, we have something called finger mode. So what finger mode is going to allow us to do is if the notes are separated, the notes won't glide between the two notes. But if I hit the second note while the first note is playing, then the glide will kick in. So let's listen to a quick example of this. Go ahead and mute the original sample here. So we have our. So separate it. So separate it again. Legato. Another option that we have is when we have the sampler track, we can now play chords, but we may not want chords. We may want this to be specifically in a monophonic mode so that only one note will sound. So to make that a little easier. So I can only play instead of chords, only one pitch will sound. You may notice that as I play and hit a different note, that the sample, if we watch here, will play from the beginning of the sample. So triggering a new MIDI note triggers the sample from the beginning of the sample. If we wanted the pitch to change as the sample is playing, we can enable legato mode once monophonic mode is turned on. And now we could just, So let's go ahead and try some effects with this. And again, with the finger mode. So there we could have a lot of creative glide effects. 
As you can see, there's a lot of great functions using the sampler track to control different aspects of your glide. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.